Camera straight? I know that's looks kind of twerk. Right there. All right, bro, you can walk up with me. <laughs> Together, boy. <laughs> nah. What's going on, Pay the Culture? It's Sergio Barron, and we're back again with another haircut tutorial. Today, I'm gonna be breaking down my step-by-step -step process on how to do a low skin taper fade, and I'm gonna run a number five guard on top. Uh, what was I gonna say after that? Um... What's going on, Pay the Culture? It's Sergio Barron, and we're back again with another haircut tutorial. Today, I'm gonna break down my step-by-step -step process on how to do a low skin taper fade with the number five guard on top. I hope y'all guys enjoy this process. If y'all do, please don't forget to leave it a thumbs up. And also make sure y'all comment what other videos y'all like us to cover on this channel. With that being said, guys, let's just jump right into the tutorial. Just keep it like that. I feel like I had to say more. That was too simple. I just kind of want to speak about, I just kind of want to talk about my problems. <laughs> um, let me run it one more time. Yeah. What's going on, Faded Culture? It's Sergio Barron, and we're back again with another haircut tutorial. Today, I got my boy Hector here, and we're going to be, uh, <laughs> nah, we're going on two years with I still can't get these intros down. What's going on? <laughs> What's going on, Faded Culture? It's Sergio Barron, and we're back again with another haircut tutorial. Today, I got my boy Hector here on the chair, and I'm going to be breaking down my step-by-step -step process on how to do a low skin taper fade with the number five guard on top. If y'all like this video, guys, please leave it a thumbs up, and also leave us down some comments about what other videos y'all like us to cover on this channel. So with that being said, guys, I hope y'all like this video, and let's just jump right into it. All right, guys, so before we start, make sure y'all visit fadedculture.co to purchase one of our barber capes or our straight razors. All right, guys, so I'm going to start by using a kind of a wide tooth comb so that we can detangle any hair and comb it down into its natural position state. And make sure you locate the swirl as well so that you can comb everything away from where it starts. All right, guys, I'm going to start with a number five guard lever closed all the way to a true number five. And I'm going to start running the clipper from back from where the swirl starts and I'm gonna work the clipper outwards with the grain until we pass up his natural hairline. I like running it this way with the grain just because I feel like with this type of wavy hair texture that kind of tends to stick up a lot, it kind of lays down and cuts the hair a lot more even and uh, it just looks a lot nicer this way. So I'm gonna just make sure I run it multiple times until we get it cut as even as possible throughout the whole top. So remember, just to start from where the swirl starts and work your way outwards, try not to cut across the swirl because you could potentially leave it a lot shorter than the rest of the hair if you flow the clipper across it. Next, I'm grabbing my one and a half clip with the lever open all the way. And this is just where I'm going to debulk right here where kind of in the area that I know I will be setting in my shorter guidelines. So this is just kind of just to make way and room for me to clearly see where I will be laying down the guidelines without having so much hair hanging over my clipper. And then to debulk in the back, as a good general rule of thumb, I like to kind of base two to three fingers from the back. So that's as much as I will be debulking and kind of making room for myself uh, so I can later lay down my guidelines back here. And just keep in mind guys that down in the description i will leave links to all the tools and stuff that we use in our videos as well as with the tips and written format so y'all could take with y'all to follow then i'm quickly gonna kind of shape up the edges of the lineup here just so i can give myself a better rough draft and i could better clearly see where i will be laying down my taper it doesn't have to be too detailed since like i said this is just kind of like to give yourself a general idea of where you will be laying down your taper fade. And now I'm going to close the lever on the clipper to a true zero to lay down my first guideline. Since we are trying to do a low skin taper fade, I'm going to start my first guideline a little bit under the top of his ear and then just laying, that, laying it down as straight as possible. Then I'm going to just continue that back first guideline, I mean the, the, that first guideline in the back of his head about two fingers uh, from where the hairline starts trying to keep it again as low as possible and then uh, just follow up that guideline the same way on the right side of his taper. For my second guideline I'm going to open the lever on the clipper all the way to a half and then I'm going to just make sure that I lay down this second guideline coming up about a half inch higher from the previous guideline. 
and then uh, just make sure that it runs parallel from that previous guideline and then we lay it down taking our time as clean as possible. Next I'm grabbing the number one guard and I'm going to still leave that lever all the way open and I'm going to lay down my next guideline. Again guys just like before I'm going to make sure that this one as well runs parallel to the previous guideline and we just lay in it and we just lay it down as clean as possible so we can clearly see our guidelines when it comes to blending them out. And remember you don't have to dig the clippers hard into the scalp all you just got to do is guide them and let the clippers do all the cutting for you. Next, I'm going to grab the number two guard, still leaving that lever all the way open for our next guy line. For this one, we're more so going to try to connect the size length to the top already. So what I'm going to do is kind of flick out more in this area. And then I'm also going to close that lever and then I'm going to just run it with the grain towards the top just to kind of finish connecting anything else that kind of sticks up on his hair. Then we'll just repeat the exact same process on the back and on the left side of his taper. Again, all we're doing is trying to connect the taper fade guidelines into the top length of his hair. And again, guys, if y'all enjoy these type of tutorials, just please don't forget to leave us a thumbs up and also leave us a quick comment of maybe some suggestions of what other tutorials y'all like us to cover. Uh, or anything that y'all like or didn't like about the video as that does help the algorithm on our channel it helps our channel grow and it encourages us to keep pumping out this type of content for you but yeah guys once you have kind of connected everything from the side to the top then we're ready to start blending out our three guidelines so here you'll have your uppermost guideline right here and then you'll see your middle guideline and then you should have your first initial guideline that you laid down way at the bottom totally into three guidelines we'll start by blending out the uppermost one and then work our way down for the top one i'm gonna use the one and a half clip with the position lever to three quarters and we're just gonna start working that clipper in a detailed fashion until we could blend out that uppermost guideline completely out then once it's out we'll proceed with the back side of his taper and again just take out the uppermost guideline with this one and a half clip lever position to three quarters and again guys all that lever position placement really is it's just the i position it right in between from where the lever would be halfway and all the way open that would be your three-fourths position and then we'll just continue blending on the right side until that top guy line is all the way out on all sides of the taper. And once that line is blended out as much as possible, we're gonna continue blending that middle guideline. For this one, I'm gonna use the half clip lever position to three quarters. So we're just gonna keep it there where it was. And we're just gonna start blending on that middle guy line until we can take it out as much as possible. Make sure that you're only staying right there where the guideline starts and not kind of, if it creates dark areas right above it, don't continue trying to chase it with the clipper. Just whatever it leaves right above, we'll come back with the higher guard to continue blending out. So, so just for now, just keep blending right there at the initial guard of this, at the initial start of this guideline until it's blended out as much as possible. And again, guys, I'd like to quickly thank everybody that's been purchasing our stuff at betaculture.co and joining the culture. And for those who are new to the channel, go ahead and check out betaculture.co as we do have accessories and clothing from t-shirts to hoodies for this winter. And also, guys, it's important you always keep a somewhat of a hard bristled brush at hand so you can continuously be brushing away any loose hair that your clipper is cutting so that you can maintain that clean workspace and you can better see your guidelines being blended out and you can distinguish what else needs to keep being blended so next i'm gonna throw on that one guard and i'm gonna still leave that lever to that three-fourths position 
And here, what I'm gonna start blending out is that uppermost dark area that we left with that previous guard, that half clip. Since it did leave a little dark uh, guideline above, uh, we're just gonna come back in with this guard to finish connecting that middle guideline all the way up into the top length of the hair. And now we're pretty much left with our last initial guideline. For this line, it takes about four lever positions for me to blend out. So first I'll start with the clipper open a tad bit and then I open it halfway and then I open it to three quarters and then I open it all the way. I gradually open it a little at a time until I completely blend out this initial guideline. So as you see here, I started with the clipper open a tad bit and then I opened it halfway, continue blending a little higher. And then I'm gonna just open it to a three quarter spot, continue blending a little higher than that. And then I open it all the way until that first guy line is connected up into the rest of the fade. So then we'll just repeat the exact same process on the back side of this taper. Again guys, I just start by opening the lever a tad bit from it being all the way closed. And then I open it halfway and then I open it to three quarters and then I open it all the way out, gradually moving up into the fade until that last line is blended out. Then we'll just repeat the exact same steps on the last side of his taper so we can finish taking out this first guideline. And now to do a little bit of touch up work, I'm gonna throw on the half clip, position that lever to three quarters. And then I'm gonna just kind of look for any little inconsistencies in the fade, and maybe some little dark spots that I might find disrupting the fade. And I'm gonna just kind of detail them out using the corner of the clipper so we can get that as much of a smooth bl blend as possible. And for me, that lever position worked at three quarters, but if you feel like you need to close or open the lever here and there to help you better take out these dark areas, then go ahead and do so. But the lever open at three quarters is kind of just of a general good starting point for you to kind of determine what you will need to do. 
So next I'm gonna use my trimmer upside down to start taking out the bottom of the hair. And then whatever little line that it creates, I'm gonna just blend it right out. I use it upside down first so that it leaves a balder guideline. And that little guideline is gonna be another uh, guide for us to show us where to stop and kind of exit with our electric shaver so that we don't shave up too high and create any little faint lines in, into the fade again. And just so y'all know guys, if you feel like this taper ain't low enough for y'all, then go ahead and start your guidelines a little lower on the next haircuts that y'all do. Feel free to play around with your guidelines uh, placements so that you can change the effect of how high or low you want your fades to be. So here we're just taking out the rest of the bottom of the hair and here like I said you'll be able to you'll be able to distinguish that little faint line and that's just uh, up to where we will be shaving up to. And as I'm shaving, I like to always kind of feel on the skin as well, just so that I can feel for any little stubble. And if I do feel a little rough stubble, I'll just kind of go past the shaver again in the direction that I feel the stubble so that we can bot it out as much as possible. So next, I'm going to just spray some spritz all over the hairline that I will be shaping up. And this is just to kind of lock the hair in place, guys, so that it don't move around when we're using our trimmers and setting in our hard lines. So I'm going to just spray a generous amount of a of this spritz and then I'm gonna just kind of blow dry the hair down in the direction that I want it to lay and then once it's dry to the touch I'll continue with uh, sitting in my hard lines all on the edge of so here I'm starting by laying down my first horizontal bar down the middle of his forehead and then I'm gonna just make sure that I continue that horizontal bar to the side of his temple area and then I'm gonna just shape out that square 90 degree angle and then just finish detailing that curvature on the temple area. Then we'll just work our way off to the opposite side of his edge up and do the exact same thing until we get that line going across his forehead as straight as possible and get that line as detailed as possible before we could come in with our straight razor to finish cleaning it up. We're also going to detail around the ear as well, so make sure you're tugging with your opposite hand on his ear and kind of moving it out of the way so that we don't nick him with the clipper. Then we're going to quickly come in and detail his goatee so we can quickly clean up any hairs that hang over his lip and then just detail any uh, lines around the goatee before we come in with our straight razor. Everybody likes to, or, or everybody has a preference as to how thick they want their lines to be. So make sure you consult with your client and kind of have them guide you as to how high uh, they want, I mean, how thick they want their mustache or their goatee to be. And then I'm gonna just apply some shaving gel throughout all the areas that I will be shaving. Then I'm gonna snap off the sides of this razor so that I can better or easily slide into this Turkish razor. I am using our Faded Culture Turkish Straight Razor. It's a matte black and we do have them in stock at fadedculture.co if y'all like to purchase one. So then I'm just starting by shaving down most of his hair that needs to be shaved and then I'll proceed with detailing the vertical bars on the side and then I'll follow that up with just shaving against the grain so that we can get a longer lasting shave. Again guys just be careful and then just make sure that you're always tugging with your opposite hand on the skin to create that tension and better help you slide that razor across his skin. I'm also going to detail his eyebrows, so I applied some shaving gel to them as well, and then just detail them as natural as possible so we can have a, a cleaner lineup around them. 
on the mustache area it can be tricky on some clients and it's a really tight spot to work with so just have your client work with you and tell him to tug his lip down so that you can have more uh, space to shave But that's pretty much it guys i'm gonna just quickly blow dry everything off so that we can clean off all the hair that we cut as much as possible and uh this part is optional but if you do like using enhancements just apply equal parts dye and water into a portable air gun and then just lightly apply them on with some business cards or something but that's pretty much it guys then i'm gonna just apply some a little bit of a pomade just to kind of bring out the haircut overall and uh this is the before in case y'all forgot what he looked like and here's the after i hope y'all guys really enjoyed this tutorial on how to do a low skin taper fade if y'all did guys again please don't forget to leave it a thumbs up and also let me know down in the comments what y'all did or didn't like about the video and also feel free to check out the rest of the videos that we have on this channel again guys my name is sergio baron this is faded culture and i'll catch y'all in the next video peace